What is up? A daggum trailer coming behind me. So I wanted to talk about a new release that I got. I switched to a button release. Now I've shot a hinge for a long time and I really like a hinge and I'm confident with a hinge, but there were some things that, you know, it, it just, I lost a little bit of information after the shot and everything else. And uh, with a button, I just feel like I have a little bit more control. So what I actually wanted to go over was how I set my buttons up to be consistent from 20 yards to 100 yards, whether I'm calm or whether I'm in a stressful situation. So let's get through on how I set this thing up. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do whenever you're setting up your thumb button is obviously getting the fingers, getting the hand position comfortable with this exit uh, pro. You can actually take this hook out and turn this to where it comes in shorter or goes out wider for bigger fingers or, you know, to, to either slow the release down or speed the feel of it up a little bit. And once you get the hand feel down, then I go on my thumb barrel. Now, the way that I set my thumb barrel up is this come with a smaller barrel, but I bought, ordered a bigger one for it. But I like to get a deep hook on my thumb barrel. That way, when I pull through, it bunches up it's almost like a wall there hook around and there's a wall there so when i pull back that wall's pulling back on that trigger and then once i get all that and you get all that figured up i'm going to go to 20 yards now the secret to setting up a thumb button is i set it up for how i shoot stressed out i don't set it up for how i shoot comfortable i always shoot it for how I get stressed out. I'll go start and get my basics at 20 yards and kind of get a general feel for the release. And then I'll go back to 100 yards, 50 yards, 60 yards, whatever your farthest distance is for you. And uh, whatever stresses you out, then that's where you'll do your fine tuning. Because if you're gonna shoot the release consistently stressed out, then you're gonna shoot it consistently when you're calm. So, and this is all personal preference and this is all, you know, opinion. In, in my opinion, this is, the, this is how I've always set up every single one of my releases and it's worked for me. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go to 20 yards and I'm gonna get my general base down. I want all of my fingers to have the same amount of pressure on them. So when I'm pulling through, I even want my thumb on my barrel to have as close to the same amount of pressure on it as my three fingers, two fingers, whatever holding this release in my hand. That way when I expand through and relax and extend my hand like that, it's all got equal pressure on through it. So let's set this up. That actually really feels fairly decent from factory. All right, so I went ahead and stepped it on back to 50. And I probably need to run my sight down for this. 52 is actually where I'm at. It actually felt pretty good from factory, but this is where you make your fine tuning. And a big thing that I left out is, if you pull really hard on your back wall, not necessarily really trying to break the riser nap, but you pull really hard, you're gonna wanna set your thumb button up to be harder tension for it to be harder to go off to accommodate for pulling really hard in that back wall because your hand's gonna be, your other fingers are gonna be a lot more tense than somebody that doesn't pull really hard on the wall and that's actually fairly light on it. They're gonna wanna set their thumb button a lighter than someone that's really pulling hard on the back wall. So you wanna match everything to accommodate for how you shoot. Okay, actually what I might end up doing, that could be just a hair. That could go just a hair more. No. And on the exit, if you turn it counterclockwise, it's hotter. If you turn it clockwise, it's uh, colder, so. Oh, that feels a lot better. That'll work. So 
There you go, guys. That's how I set up my thumb button releases. Hope this helps some of y'all out. See ya.